Yeah, I was asked by a customer if Tableau can tolerate milliseconds in a date structure, and yes, it can. It's just not part of the innate time structure that Tableau has. It only goes down to the second level, but it's doable. Uh, and the way that it's doable is that you bring in your date as a string, and then you parse it out into individual components. And then the last part is just reading the last six characters from that string and transforming it into an integer. And if it's a fraction like this, then dividing it, say, by like uh, a million in my case, because I've got one, two, three, four, six digits after that. So you can see what I did here. So I'm just reading the last six digits off of there, dividing it by a thousand. And then I constructed manually, I constructed just each portion of the date structure. So like if I started out up here, let's start with a new sheet actually. So if I had my date A, which is just, I'm doing date time of base date. So this transforms that string into date and time. So if I like bring this over to rows, for example, then I get my year. So if I just double click in there, I can copy that into a calculated field or drag it over here to create year. So I create all them, order them appropriately so that I can ultimately do something like, let's replace that drill all the way down to milliseconds, okay? Minute, second, millisecond. And here I have over 16 million records, so it might take a second. I'm gonna actually cancel that. But ultimately, we would like to get to a point where we can observe this type of stuff. So what I'm doing here is just looking at this in a page view. And any time where there's a deviation between the max value observed and the minimum value observed beyond 7%, I'm highlighting it in orange. And here I'm, again, I'm animating this, but you don't have to animate this. And I'll publish also the, uh, the finished workbook that I have that has those calculated fields in there if you want to replicate this.